Welcome to Videos by Jeff Sebelius. In this episode, I'll demonstrate how to update the firmware for your Typhoon H and ST16 transmitter. This episode is part of a series of videos to help you learn how to fly your Typhoon H drone. Let's get started with Typhoon H Update Your Firmware. Periodically, unique issues and update to the firmware for the Typhoon H aircraft, gimbal, and ST16 transmitter. The updates published between November 2016 and February 2017 had problems. I encourage pilots not to use them on their systems unless they were already experiencing firmware related issues. In February 2017, Unique put out a firmware update and many users have reported it to be very stable. Unique UK has issued a training video to show the process for installing the firmware update. That video demonstrates the wireless technique for updating the H. Most of the problems I've read about over the past several months have occurred while people were using this wireless feature. On this video, I'll demonstrate how to update the H with the original technique of placing the update files on a media card and updating directly from the card. For now at least, I think it's a more reliable approach. To begin, go to Unique.com and select Downloads under the Support tab. Click on Typhoon H to view downloadable files for this aircraft. Scroll down and download the drone firmware and controller firmware files to your computer. Now, take a micro SD card and format it so it's perfectly clean. Larger capacity cards tend to fail on the updates, so stick with a 16 GB card or smaller. Copy the two firmware files to your micro SD card. Remove the micro SD card from your computer and insert it into the bottom of the ST16. Make sure the card is fully clicked into the transmitter. Start up the transmitter. While this is booting up, I'll mention that you should perform all firmware updates with fully charged batteries for the aircraft and the transmitter. When the transmitter is running, click on System Settings and hit OK. From the row of buttons to the left, choose About Controller at the bottom. Notice the firmware version for the transmitter and the aircraft. We can check that again later on to see if the firmware update was successful. Select Update next to the ST16 information and hit OK. The transmitter will unpack and upgrade the firmware. For this version, it took about four and a half minutes. The transmitter will then read the update data. After the update, the transmitter will reboot and then initialize system update. You'll see the green Android robot on screen. In a couple minutes, the robot disappears and the transmitter reboots again. The transmitter comes back up, the update continues, and then the regular screen appears. You will be prompted to choose your language and hit OK. Now we need to clear the flight data. This is a new step to the old unique firmware update process. Click the pad button to the lower left. Click the applications button bottom center, a circle with two rows of dots in it. This opens the applications. Tap the settings icon. From the list of settings, tap apps. A mostly blank screen appears. Press and slide left two times to scroll to a third screen. Now scroll down until you find flight mode and tap it. Find the button to clear data and tap it, 
then hit OK. After that, you can return to the home screen. The update reset my selected camera, so we need to fix that. Choose System Settings, then choose Camera Select. Then click on Seago 3 Pro and select, then OK. Then return to the main screen. Now we need to rebind the transmitter and the aircraft. Start up your Typhoon. For safety's sake, do this process without installing propellers. Tip the aircraft forward 45 degrees and back two times. The indicator light will change to a flickering amber color. You're now in bind mode. On the transmitter, choose System Settings and then choose Go to Model Select. Then choose Typhoon H and OK. Now hit the refresh button. Now you see the aircraft and the camera in the center. Select the aircraft and the camera, then hit bind. You will be prompted for a password, which is 12345678890. Then hit OK. After a moment, it says connection established. Hit OK. Now we can back out to the main screen. Our transmitter has been updated. Now it's time to update the aircraft. Here is where my instructions differ from what other people demonstrate. I've seen too many people have problems with updating the aircraft using a wireless network. My instructions will demonstrate how to update the Typhoon H firmware by putting the media card directly into the camera. First, let's remove the media card from the transmitter. Now, power down your Typhoon H. Remove your normal media card from the camera. Replace it with the media card that has your firmware files. Again, make sure the card is fully clicked into place. Now boot up the aircraft. The indicator light tells us we're bound and in the angle mode. On the transmitter, go into System Settings and hit OK. Choose About Controller at the bottom left. You can see the current firmware version for the aircraft here. Choose Update and confirm the update. The update process begins. When the aircraft is done, it will give a tone and then the camera starts to update. When finished, you get a message that the firmware update has been successful and you should restart the aircraft. Hit OK. Shut down the aircraft and let it sit for a few seconds. Then power it back up. On the transmitter, back out to the main screen and let the aircraft and transmitter connect. If we go to System Settings and choose OK, then hit About Controller, you can see that the firmware versions for the transmitter and aircraft have changed. Back out to the main screen. After you power everything down, remove the firmware media card from your camera and replace it with the normal media card you typically fly with. The firmware update is complete. You still have two more steps to take before you can fly. First, you must calibrate your accelerometer, gimbal, and compass. I've already done a video on this process. The link should appear on screen and in the description below. Second, Many pilots suggest that you must allow the system to restore its GPS information prior to flying again. I don't know if this is true or not, 
but it can hurt to take this step. Simply place the aircraft in an open spot and power up the H and the transmitter. Then let them sit for 15 minutes. You won't get any messages that something happened. Just wait 15 minutes and power everything down. That's it. You're ready to try out your new firmware. I always recommend that you keep the post-update flight slow and close by so you can watch the aircraft for any problems. If you don't see any strange behavior or warning messages, you're ready to fly. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button and share this on social media to help me out. And I love reading your comments and questions, so please post away. Be sure to subscribe. More videos like this are in the works. Want to see more? Click the link on screen for a playlist of Typhoon H tutorial videos, including instructions for calibrating your aircraft. Thanks for watching.